I've got Charlie back in the salon today and she's going to be my model. So what we're going to do, we're going to give her a long fringe with some square layers. So let's just jump right into the haircut today. So I start by just parting it directly down the middle, just from the top to the bottom, just sectioning it off. Sectioning is very important. I like to keep my sections nice and clean. So I, you can see I put my finger on one end and the sectioning clip automatically goes directly to where my finger is. And that keeps it nice and clean, just straight right across the bottom. We're going to get a little bit of length off. I'm going to take about two inches off the bottom here. So we make sure Charlie's head's down and we bring it straight down to create my first guideline. So I've talked about this a lot in the past, the way you actually cut hair, or the way I cut hair when I want to create a nice clean line, I cut it when I'm dragging the scissor backwards. So I'm not pushing the hair forward to create any graduation or anything like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed all this up for you because all we're doing at the moment is creating that length down the bottom. So now that I've created my length in the back, I just move on to the sides and what I do is I turn her to make sure it's nice. I want to do a square layer, so I'm going to keep this haircut all pretty blunt. So I'm just bringing it directly down, um, again just cutting it on the back stroke, not trying to push the hair forward. I'm leaving it slightly longer in the front because I know I'm going to go back over this once I dry it. So now that I've got my length, I'm going to go back to my original section. So I take the same part directly down the middle from the crown to the nape. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that square layer now. So I'm going to pull it out directly off the head at 90 degrees. And then my guideline is what drops out at the bottom. I'm going to take that straight off. So I was taking the corner off and this is what's creating that square layer. So think of a line from the floor to the ceiling and I'm just following that line. I'm letting the hair drop out at the bottom and then just following that straight up. I'm taking vertical sections and following it around the shape of the head, bringing everything back off the back of the head. So now I'm going to connect it to the top. So I'm going to bring from that crown area everything directly up. So I'm cutting that square line now across the top of the head. So I'm bringing everything straight up and cutting a line directly across the top. With the front fringe, what we're going to do, we're going to keep it slightly longer. So I'm just going to twist this around and make a bit of a fringe area for Charlie that she can wear to the side or push forward. So once I've got the length of the fringe, all I do is diagonal back sections, but bringing everything forward, directing my fingers to the floor on a diagonal forward, just to make sure we're connecting everything and giving her a nice little face frame. And as always, once you dry this, you know it's going to bounce up a little bit. So I leave it slightly longer because I'm going to go back in and personalize it once I dry it all. So here we've dried it and flat ironed it and you can start to see that layering. I want to see the bluntness in the layer, which is awesome. I'm just going to go back through and chip out out at, at the fringe area and just break it up a little bit. I'm really into this look lately, but by the looks of Charlie's face, I don't know if she's into the haircut. No, I'm lucky with the roll of the eyes there that she really does like the haircut. Look, I love square layering at the moment. I think it's going to be pretty popular this year. And I love the fringe area, you know, you can push it to the side. Look, I love the way this haircut turned out for her. I think it's going to work. Let's have a look at the before and after. Look, I really like this haircut. Charlie's 17 and I think it does make her look older in a good way. So I'm really happy with the end result. Hey, if this is the first time you've come across one of my videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you could like, comment and share this video, it'd be much appreciated. But I'll catch you next week.